What's good, people? It's your boy Dre Day every day. Back with another figure for you. Today, I'm excited about this one because this comes from the very first anime I was introduced to as a kid. Watched this in 95, and that's Ronin Warriors. And this is a Sentinel figure, the same people who made my Miles Morales Spider Man. Just should keep that glare out of there. And man, this is my favorite character, Rowan of the Strata. So, off the top, let me show you what all comes in the box. This is backwards. But, yeah, man. Off of having two figures from Sentinel, I could already say that I am in love with this company because they go the absolute extra mile. Now, I think when it comes to Ronin Warriors specifically, the fact that you have this armor, this would have to be a lot of pieces. But I think they just went out their way by giving you this stand which is ultimately this stand and then this little stool here. If you're familiar with the show, you know they have segments where they show the armor when it's not on the person that it belongs to. And it's like sitting on this little stool here. I'm not going to piece together both because that will be, I'd have to put it on one figure, take it off, put it on another, whatever. Oh, and don't worry if you... Even if you if you want to collect this and don't know how to put it on, it comes with this little manual that shows you exactly how to put everything together and what to put where. But this figure here, um, they have SH Figure Arts made a figure, and I, well, for, for one, the SH Figure Arts figure was more expensive, but I like this one over the SH figure arts because of the hair. Like the hair is more accurate to how Rowan looks in the actual anime. I don't think there's no picture here, but uh, here's, I have a copy of it. So in overseas in Japan, it was called Samurai Troopers. And this is from like the late eighties, but I saw this in 95. So I, they had did the little American tweaking to it, called it Ronin Warriors, changed the theme song and all of that stuff. I'm actually currently re-watching this, and I still like it. You know, I can't say that it's over the animes that that are my favorite now, but I still like it. But then I also haven't finished it. But, but I chose the Sentinel figure because the the hair is more accurate on the suit on the what is it the sh figure arts their hair is more spiky it almost looks super saiyanish and that's not how the hairs look on uh, ronin warriors and let me show you some of his uh articulation so this is a little backstory we used to have a, a satellite in uh in our backyard my dad got a it was back in the 90s, so the satellite was like super huge behind our house. Like it looked like some, looked like some space, <laughs> some space observation type shit. And when I used to get out of school and do my homework, I'd come home and jump on the satellite, see what I could find. And then I came across so many shows that people that grew up in my neighborhood wasn't <laughs> wasn't hip to but um i think ronin warriors is one of the shows i ended up finding and this ends up coming up on coming on at like five in the morning and my brother my oldest brother at the time he had a broken leg so <clears throat> i don't know if he'd wake up in the morning due to pain or just on and off sleeping throughout the day but he would wake me up and we watched this joint together and yeah man it's kind of it kind of fit it because like i grew up like in power rangers ninja turtles um what was that what's that vr troopers so this kind of fit into that whole that whole anime well just the whole style of of show if you like those styles of shows 
that have the group of people together, then I think Rona Warriors might be up your alley. The armor has its uh, own mythology and stuff like that. It's still very intriguing to me. But you can the action sequences, you can tell that the joints are, um, are, are from the 80s and early 90s. But this figure has some great articulation. I'm going to get you some pictures of what he looks like with the armor on. But, yeah, man. So, just a little light. All of these characters, they all have armors that correspond to different elements. Here you got Ryo of Wildfire, Rowan of the Strata, Kento of Hard Rock, Sage of the Halo, and Sai of the Torrent. And man, it's like they also can come together. Is Harriel? Yeah. This right here is Harriel of Inferno. But it's like when all of them combine, they can um they make Harry. It's almost like some Captain Planet type shit. But um yeah, this joint is on Crunchyroll. You can check it out if you want to. I prefer the American version. Even though that's like a sin to to like, but the, it's a guy. The character named Anubis, when he does his special movie, he says "Quake with fear." He doesn't say it in the in the original version, and I can't deal with it without hearing that. But it's pretty cool. You in the anime is anime. You ain't checked that. Definitely check this out. This was the reason I avoided Dragon Ball Z. And yeah. I'm gonna put you some pictures up. Matter of fact, I'm gonna put it together. Hold on, let me get let me do this for you. <sighs> Finally, after meticulous work, we got what my guy looks like with his full armor on. And I tell you, putting this on probably took probably takes longer than it did that it's taking me to do the actual recording of this video. But once you get everything on, this is the final payoff. And then his bow and arrow, let's show you the cool shit. This is how he stores it on his suit. Fold this up. An articulating bow and arrow. And you get this. Oh no, wait a minute. I think you put that side in first. Yep. And bam. Rowan of the Strata. Ready to go. I don't know if I showed it did come with the little arrow if you want to pose it. I got I'm gonna put a picture up if you want to pose them. But yeah, man. This right here. Shh, man. <clears throat> I'm tell you what, this shit right here is sharp. This is sharp. So you want to make sure that whatever hand pieces make sure these are off <laughs> hey, yeah man see look, let me show you this so this is his original head piece and they even made they made an individual hair piece that's that plugs in right here to just simulate how he looks when he has his armor on you can see it right there and that this little mask what I'm noticing in the show, that little mask comes down when they're like, when they're fully in their element. That's when the mask, like when Ron was in space, this little mask came down. When Ryo was in a volcano, his little mask came down. When Sai was underwater, his mask came down. That's what I'm, that's what I've noticed about it. But a lot of the times they do just have the regular they're with their faces out just like that you know just like here see if we got a picture of it on the back yeah none of their masks are down here but yeah man this is definitely one of my favorite figures and um rowan uh ronin warriors is the reason why i had avoided dragon ball z growing up i didn't see dragon ball z until like 2008 i worked at a job and a guy would ask me he was like you ever seen dragon ball z i was like no 
and he knew how much I like video games and stuff like that. And he was like, look, you're going to watch this. He brought me the DVDs season one. He's like, don't bring this back to me till you watch the everything. Watch season one. He, I done finished. He brought me season two. So that's how I got caught up to Dragon Ball Z. But I was satisfied with this so much that I was like, when I seen Dragon Ball, I was like, okay, I think I'm good with mine. So, yeah, that's all I got here for Rowan, man. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get the other ones because it looks like they're already sold out. But at least I got my favorite. And then Harry's coming out next year. I have him pre-ordered. But until another figure, peace out.